Hey folks, welcome back. So glad that you're with us. Listen, we're here with the mayor of Atlantic City, Marty Small Sr. Mayor, again, thank you for being here and sticking around for an extra segment. No, you got a lot going on. You got so much going on. One of the things that I wanted to talk about, I think it's an unprecedented I, that I know, and I don't claim to be a know-it-all, but seven campaigns in the last couple years. Tell the folks about how that is and having a team First of all, to, and we talk sports, having a team to stick through that also, that's not an easy feat. Absolutely. I'm blessed enough to have um, an infrastructure uh, for my campaign. You heard um, that. Infrastructure, we're, we're, I like that. We're known for our uh, ground game, but I ran on the polls in the uh, 2019 primary. Um, uh, Mayor Gilliam left out October. So I be, by act of law, I became mayor, but also I was the second ward councilman elect. So technically on New Year's Day, I could have said, well, you know, this mayor thing ain't what it's cracked up to be. Right. I could have took the oath of office. Obviously, I didn't. My second ward seat vacated. Right after that, we had to engage in a change of government election. Mm. Then I had to run in the 20 primary, the 20 general, and then the 21 primary and the 2021 general. And I have a full four-year term. Um, I'm a few months into it, and we want to keep pushing our agenda along. We have a plan. We always have a plan, right. and um, we're doing right by the good people of Atlantic City. We spending uh, more, I mean, we're spending less money, but adding more services. We always talk about our division of youth recreation, singing, right. multicultural services, which the city didn't have in place. Um, we have a brand new recreation program, youth services, which deals with everything that deals with youth that's not sports. Senior services, multicultural, LBGTQ affair, anti-violence. All of this and more for the people of Atlantic City. We've been able to give the people of Atlantic City education. Um, we started the Mayor's Office Small Business Academy, which phase two is going to be ran by the New Jersey State African American Chamber of Commerce. We um, started with Empify, which is an investment cohort teaching the community how to invest for free. Now we're going to engage in partnership with Ocean 8 uh, with credit repair, and then we're going to wrap a bow on it, and we're going to teach the residents of Atlantic City for free how to put a financial plan in place. We're also going to educate them on how to secure uh, government uh, contracts and be involved in the process because they're not um, educated on the process, so it's our job uh, to educate them. And we're fiscally responsible. Um, for the third straight year, we're having a tax decrease. So look out for that announcement That's soon beautiful. and very soon. That's beautiful. A a and, Mayor, we smile when we're talking about the seven. I don't know how you smile because it's got to be exhausting. I know a little bit about the politics and running, but to, to and, seven and, is unprecedented. And, you know, just, um, politics is a blood sport. It's a context Oh, sport. my gosh. Um, Times five you know, here. Yeah, we, we uh, you know, been through the bumps and, bumps and bruises. But ultimately, I always have this saying that men women and political opportunists lie, but the numbers and facts don't. It don't matter what they put out right. there, the residents of Atlantic City across all six wards, we won all of these elections by 70 plus percent of the vote. Blowouts. So yeah. Yeah. the people are speaking. They spoke. Yeah. And, and when you spoke uh, the, the, in the last uh, couple sentences there too, you know, when you're talking about um, uh, empowerment through education yes. and financing, listen, I come from a family of eight. And, you know, my father and mother were working all the time and, and they happened to be there and they were there. But I'm going to be honest with you. You know, we weren't taught about how to save and checkbooks and build a business and stuff like that. So that stuff that, you know, and it wasn't happening in my neighborhood, you know, in Malka yeah. Township out there by Hamilton. And, and so it's it's awesome that you're doing that and you see that and uh, yes. the the way the residents have embraced it. I mean, it's amazing. You know, yes. it's for real. Yes. It's real. It's yes. not just something I'm running on and I'm going to do this and Absolutely. that. It's happening. Listen, and that's what we say, that the small administration says what it means right. and means what it say. And we, we've been able to do that. And obviously, education is uh, valuable in our house. As I stated, right. I have a master's degree. My wife has four degrees, including a doctorate. Um, and she's the first fe African-American female in the history of Atlantic City to be superintendent, as well as the first superintendent to ever live in the city. And we instill that in our children, Jada, who's 14, who will be going to Atlantic City High next year, and Marty Small Jr., who's 12. So if, you know, charity starts at home, That's right. we believe in education in the household, and obviously 
we're going to believe in it in the community as well. And I love the fact that you continue, and others have told me the same, to put the kids through the Atlantic City school system and whatnot. It's just the only way to go. Listen, we were products of public right. schools. We, yeah. we don't believe in anything else. That's right. And we're going to have her. You're going to be my mouthpiece to have her on the show. Okay, no So problem. we'll do that. So listen, there's so much stuff going on in the city. We want to talk about, as we taped this show today, there was a great uh, press conference at Dolphins Field. Uh, let's talk about some of that stuff. And then let's also talk about some of the big events coming into summer of yes. 2022. Yes, well, um, today I announced the beneficiaries for the uh, official Mayor Marty Small Senior inaugural ball. It is June 4th at um, Harris. It's from 7 to 11. And then if you're feeling froggy, leap for the after party. It's 11 uh, Ooh, to 3, but we're going to have uh, celebrities. This is going to be an event like it's never been before to benefit organizations in the Great Atlantic City Youth Association, which is the Atlantic City Dolphins. They're in the first position, followed by the Atlantic City Pal, Atlantic City Boys and Girls Club, and Empowerment Tools Coalition, which is a nonprofit um, by Shemaine gunn to Gary. Nice. If we say yes. that we want to do things for youth, here's an opportunity. One million percent of the proceeds are going to the Atlantic City Dolphins. So this is going to be a big night. We're going to give Met Gala vibes. That's the theme and vibe that we're going for. And the title is Together We Rise. Love it. Which was my 2022 State of the City address because together everyone can make Atlantic City the best place that we know it can and will be. And Mayor Small, as an executive board member with the AC Pal, uh, mm -hmm. talking to uh, Speedy today, we're so you know happy that we're yes. out there and it's awesome. So, I mean, really wanted to put that out there and I'm glad that you spoke on that and mm -hmm. the other two organizations uh, are benefiting from this event. And we're gonna put this up on our social and everywhere else and blow it up on our radio stations and whatnot. So yeah, man. Talk to us a little bit about some of the stuff that's happened. I don't mean to put you on the spot because well, I know you got so much listen, going no, on. No, well, well, the 800-pound gorilla in the room is what we're going to do with <laughs> yeah, Beta Phil. Right. We're entertaining right. a proposal uh, of a $2.7 billion yeah. development, which is centered around audio, audio enthusiasts. Um, it's going to have a boutique hotel, uh, condos, um, oceanfront uh, housing, a boardwalk on Beta Phil, right around the edges. Um, on the Albany Avenue side, entertainment, retail, dining, you know, you name right. it, an automotive museum, yeah. um, and an um, automotive school, which is going to give our children in Atlantic City an opportunity to join the automotive industry because there's a shortage there. Um, we're also excited about the $100 million uh, water park. Dark, yeah. um, we see the hole in the ground. Um, we know that it's going to come through. Um, Bart Blatstein is trying to corner the market with showboat being an entertainment facility and a family entertainment facility. We, also, we already got the Lucky Snake. And um, in a couple of weeks, the um, indoor go-karts are going right. to open up. up. And, you know, we're excited about that. Uh, you know, there's other projects on the books, but um, we don't have enough time to talk about no, it. No, we don't. I know you've seen that lengthy, <laughs> that lengthy State of the City right. address. They probably like, look, awesome. all right, y'all, time is over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're in my ear telling me a few minutes. But yeah, you spoke of a couple, and listen, it's family friendly, it's adult friendly. We're going to have, uh, like you said, the, the electric motorized vehicles at the uh, showboat. And it's going to be an awesome, awesome uh, summer of 2022 making up. One of the things I wanted to thank you for was keeping the boardwalk open when March of 2020 hit. Yes. So yes. we got like 30 seconds or so. It's to you. You yes. finished well, this off. Well, sir. well listen, um, we survived the pandemic, and that was because of our leadership. We kept the beach and boardwalk open for mental uh, and physical mm -hmm. exercise. The governor, the the governor said that too, so we left ours open. We were able to feed 3,780 mm -hmm. senior citizens two hot meals a week. We were the first to lead in the clubhouse with the testing sites. I'm here in the great city of Atlantic City, and you know, through that leadership, working together, Atlantic City has come up with hopefully, which is the end of the of the pandemic, um, and did did right by the good people of Atlantic City, and I'm extremely proud about that because it was a challenging time. And I close with my quote by the late great Dr. Martin mm. Luther King: "The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands at moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy." And that was both challenging and controversial time, and not to mention the open container law, which allowed right. businesses to stay afloat during that time, as well as outdoor dining. That was under the leadership of Mayor Small. There you go, folks. Listen, this man's going to uh, do it and complete the uh, task at hand. We just need you to stick around for more than 
two, three, four terms, just run it. You can't go to the state and do anything. You got to stay right here in Atlantic County, Atlantic City, 401. Listen, we appreciate you coming to the show, uh, Mayor Small. Uh, you're welcome here anytime. This is your home, right? This is literally your home. And uh, folks, listen, make sure you catch him. He's got a great radio show. We're going to put that up too and uh, on Saturdays. We appreciate it. Thank you again. No and again, I'm serious about getting what the misses on the uh, show too. Right. There no you problem. go, folks. Stay right where you're at. We'll be right back.